Jasmine here from Tasman's Crochet Creations and for today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to crochet this cute little watermelon hat. Isn't it just so freaking cute? So adorable. Like look at it. Isn't it just cute? So yeah, let's get started with the materials, shall we? Okay guys, so to make this strawberry hat, these are the materials that we'll be using. So I'll be using um, Charity Double Knit Pull Skein Weight Yarn. And um, it is 100% acrylic, 233 meters, or approximately 256 yards, and it is, a, it is a 100 gram ball. It recommends a 4 millimeter crochet hook. And the colors we'll be using is white, watermelon pink, watermelon pink, tiger lime green, emerald green, and lastly, black for the spots. Or for the seeds of the watermelon uh, or the watermelon hat i should say and um yeah so that is regards to the yarn all of all of the yarns here are the same weight same brands and everything um so yeah uh that, that is the yarn they'll be using for today's tutorial with that i'll be using a three and a half millimeter crazy hook this is just to get my stitches nice and hard and small um just so we don't have big gaps in the work um yeah and then with that you'll also be needing a tapestry needle as well as a pair of scissors okay so this hat is like a universal kind of size um but yeah you can always increase the rounds to make it bigger or smaller or well, increase the rounds to make it bigger or decrease it to make it smaller okay so let's get started with the tutorial shall we okay so to get started you just want to grab your watermelon pink or your color that you that will be the main color of your watermelon hat um so you're just going to start off by making a magic ring so to do that you're going to take your tail end and you're going to wrap it over your um over your two fingers once twice and then the third time you're going to cross over to form an x okay and then you're going to insert your crochet hook underneath those two loops pick up that third loop and then you're going to yarn over and chain one to secure that magic ring then you're going to pull your magic ring off of your fingers and then you'll have something that looks like this okay um and then to start off we're just going to chain um, we're going to chain another one so to chain sorry to chain you are just going to um sorry I'm splitting my yarn here you're just going to chain you're just going to yarn over and pull through to do a chain one okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to do we are going to do um half double crochets and we're going to do 12 half double crochets into the magic ring so to do a half double crochet you're going to yarn over insert into the center of that magic ring then you're going to yarn over you're going to have three loops on the hook then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops to do a half double crochet okay let me show that to you again okay so again you're going to yarn over then you're going to insert your into that magic ring then you're going to yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three of those loops to do a half double crochet and we need 12 of those so we did one two three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then to close up this magic ring, you're going to take your tail end here and you're going to pull on your tail end to close up that magic ring okay so that one loop that got pulled in there you're going to take that loop and pull it down towards you and then you'll see that other loop disappear or close up there okay and then to get rid of this big loop you're going to take your tail end and pull on that okay you're going to pull on that to get rid of that other loop okay and then there you go you've done your 12 half double crochets into the magic ring 
and then you're going to find that first half double crochet that you did so your hook into there and then we're going to slip stitch so you're going to yarn over and then pull that yarn through through the the stitch and through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch okay then again you're going to chain up two so you're going to yarn over pull through once yarn over pull through two and then for the next round we are going to do an increase into each stitch around so by the end of the first round you should have 12 half double crochets and the way you count is by looking at these v's um by looking at these v's at the tops of the stitches here okay so you should have a total of 12 stitches by the end of that first round so now moving into the second round we are going to do an increase into each stitch around so an increase is basically doing two half double crochets to each stitch around okay so you're going to yarn over go into the first stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two again yarn over insert into the same stitch that you did that half double crochet yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so do your two half double crochets and then you will do two half double crochets into each stitch around for a total of 24 stitches and for some odd reason my tail end got cut short here or my yarn got, got cut short i'm not sure what happened but for some odd reason um it was not attached to my skein of yarn <laughs> okay there we go so I managed to connect some more yarn there okay so you're just going to go around placing two half double crochets into each stitch around um i see here that i actually put a double crochet here instead of a half double crochet and i think here too actually <laughs> okay but yeah so you're going to yarn over and search yarn over pull three you have three loops on the hook and then pull through all three of the loops yeah so you will repeat that all the way around placing two half double crochets into each stitch around and your stitch count should have gone up from 12 up to 24 by the end of this round okay so you can you can continue this all the way around okay so there we go once i've made it back around to the beginning this is what it should look like you should have a total of 24 stitches by the time you get back around to the beginning okay so we're gonna so it may look like we have another stitch here at the end but that is just our slip stitch so we're going to ignore that okay but again you just want to make sure you have 24 stitches Okay, then again you're going to slip stitch to the first half double crochet that you did. Okay, so you're going to insert your hook there and then yarn over, pull through, and then pull, pull that loop through that loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. Okay, and then moving on to the third round, you're going to chain up two. So you're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And then for this round, you're going to place one half double crochet into the first stitch. So you're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on the hook and then yarn over pull through all three of those loops to do a half double crochet so you have one half double crochet into the first stitch and then into the next stitch we're going to do an increase so again an increase is two half double crochets into there okay and then you'll just repeat that around you place one half double crochet into the next stitch and then an increase into the following and again an increase is just two half double crochets into the same stitch Okay, and then you will just repeat that around, placing one half double crochet into the next stitch and then two half double crochets into the following stitch. And then your stitch count should have gone up from, your stitch count should have gone up from 24 up to 36 by the end of this third round. Okay, so you can go off and you can repeat that, placing one half double crochet into the next stitch. And then an increase all the way around and then i'll meet back up with you when we are ready to move on to the fourth round okay okay so now i've made it back around to the beginning after completing the third round and again your stitch count should have gone up from 24 up to 36 by the end of the third round okay moving up to the fourth round we're again going to slip stitch into that first stitch that we made 
Okay, so you're going to slip stitch there, then again you're going to chain up two. And then for the next round, you're going to place one half double crochet into the next two stitches. Okay, so one half double crochet in the first stitch. And then one half double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, and then we'll do an increase into the third. And again, an increase is two half double crochets into the same stitch. Okay. And you'll just repeat that around, placing one half double crochet into the next two stitches, and then an increase into the following, and your stitch count by the end of that round should have gone up to 48, yeah, 48. Your stitch count should have gone up from 36 up to 48 by the end of this next round. So you would just repeat that around, placing one half double crochet into the next two stitches and then an increase into the next. Okay. And you will just repeat that all the way around until you get back around to the beginning. And again, your stitch count should have gone up from 36 up to 48. Okay. So you can continue that and then I'll meet back up with you when you're ready to move on to the next round. So now after completing the fourth round, this is what it should be looking like now. So again, your stitch count should have gone up from 36 up to 48 by the end of the fourth round. Okay, and then moving on to the next round, we're going to slip stitch to the beginning. And then you're going to chain up two. And then you're going to place one half double crochet into the first three stitches. So that's one, two, three. And then you'll do an increase into the next stitch. Okay. And then again, you're just going to repeat that around, placing one half double crochet into the next three stitches. That's one, two, three. And then an increase into the next. And your stitch count should have gone up from 48 up to 52 by the end of this round. And again, you will just continue placing one half double crochet into the next three stitches. And then an increase into the next. Okay. And then I'll meet back up with you when we're ready to move on to the next round. Okay. So now by the end of the fifth round, this is what it should be looking like now. And again, we can now slip stitch to the beginning stitch. So you can slip stitch there. And then we can chain up two. And then... For the sixth round, we're going to place one half double crochet into the first four stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, and then an increase. And then you'll just repeat that around, placing one half double crochet into the first, into the next four stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, and then an increase into the next. Okay. And then you will just repeat that around, placing one half double crochet into the next four stitches, and then an increase, and your stitch count should have gone up from, from 52 up to 60 by the end of this round. Okay, so you can go off and continue this all the way around and then I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to move on to the next round. Okay. Okay, now moving on to the next round. Again, you're going to slip stitch to the beginning and by the end of the fifth, the sixth round, you should have a total of 60 stitches by the end of this round. Okay, moving on to the seventh round, you're going to chain up two, and then you're going to place one half double crochet into the next five stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then you'll do an increase into the next stitch. And then you'll just repeat that around, placing one half double crochet into the next five stitches and then an increase and by the end of this round your stitch count should have gone up from 60 up to 72 by the end of this round okay so you can continue placing one half double crochet into the next five stitches 
and then an increase and then I'll come back and show you what to do from there okay okay so now I have completed round seven um, of the hat which was the five half top crochets and then an increase so I've completed that round and your, your stitch count have gone up from seven from sorry from 60 up to 72 by the end of the seventh round okay and now for rounds eight to round 18 so that's a total of 11 rounds we are just going to place one half double crochet into each stitch around um to the beginning and then slip stitching to the beginning and you will just You'll just place one half double crochet into each stitch around um, for 11 rounds, and then I'll come back and show you what to do from there. Um, so, yeah, we are now just basically building up the sides of the hat now, and um, yeah, I really actually hope that I'll have enough watermelon yarn or watermelon pink to like complete the top part of the hat um yeah it looks like i'm going to be playing a little bit of yarn chicken here um i thought i'd have enough for this hat um if not then uh then i guess i'll have to switch to some other pink uh which might look a little bit funny um so yeah but anyway you're just going to place one half double crochet into each stitch around until you have completed a total of 18 rounds or have completed 11 rounds of just one half double crochet in each stitch around no increases or decreases just one half double crochet in each stitch around and you should have kept the same stitch count as 72 stitches okay so I'll come back and show you what to do once we have completed those rounds okay okay so now I am back after completing my 11 rounds of um of just one half double crochet in each stitch around and thankfully i wanted yarn chicken <laughs> um i still have a little bit left probably enough to do maybe two or three more rounds um but anyway so what you'd want to do now is you'd want to grab your white yarn and we are now going to color change to white so um i have stopped at my last half double crochet so um before i end off my last half double crochet i'm going to color change so i'm going to yarn over insert into the last stitch yarn over pull through and then before i yarn over to color sorry before I yarn over and pull through i'm going to pick up my white and then i'm going to yarn over with the white and pull the white through those three loops and then i'm going to slip stitch to the beginning like that okay and then if you want you can um, work over your tail ends for the first two or three stitches um, just to like kind of hide them in there a little bit okay and then for this round you are just going to place one half double crochet into each stitch around and so get back round to the beginning so it's just um, we'll just do this for one round and then we will color change to tiger lamb or to the light green and then um and then we will do two how many we'll do three two yeah three rounds in the tiger lamb and then we will do um then we will do another two rounds of the dark green or the emerald green okay so you can just continue placing one half double crochet into each stitch around so get back around to the beginning and your stitch count should remain the same as 72 stitches okay and you can snip off this this watermelon yarn or your pink yarn leave a little bit of a tail for sewing okay and then you, as I said, you just want to continue placing one half double crochet into each stitch around till you get back to the beginning. And then I'll show you what to do from there. Okay. Okay. 
so now i am back after completing the one round of the white and now again we're going to color change the tag alarm so i'm going to redo my last stitch and what so i'm going to insert yarn over insert yarn over pull through drop the, the white pick up the tag alarm or your light green and then yarn over and pull the green through those last three loops there and then you're just going to slip stitch to that first stitch that you did in white and then yarn over pull through and do your slip stitch and then for the next two rounds you're just going to place one half double crochet into each stitch around for the next two rounds so for rounds 20 to 21 i believe yeah for rounds 20 to 21 you're just going to place one half double crochet into each stitch around for the next two rounds and then i'll come back and show you what to do from there yeah okay so now i'm back after completing those two rounds and i forgot to mention that we can actually snip our white yarn but leave a little bit of a tail there so we can sew that in later and now what we're going to do is we are now going to slip stitch to the beginning to join and now we're going to work front post half double crochet stitches if i can even get into the first stitch to slip stitch that would be great <laughs> okay there we go okay so to do a front post half double crochet stitch we are first going to chain up two and then um to do a post stitch we are basically going to work around the post of the stitch so we're going to work around the whole leg of the stitch if that makes any sense so how we're going to do that is we're going to yarn over we're going to insert from the right hand side of the stitch poke your hook to the back and then poke your hook back out from the back to the front coming out of the left hand side of the stitch if that makes any sense so you're essentially grabbing the whole leg of the of the stitch if that makes any sense and then just going to yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through the three loops to finish off your half double crochet and you'll just repeat that around placing one front post half double crochet stitch around so again you're going to yarn over find the right hand side of that stitch and search your hook into the right hand side and poke your hook out the left hand side of that stitch like that okay so the whole front the whole post of that stitch is on your hook again you're going to yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through three to finish off that half double crochet front post stitch and then again you're going to yarn over find the front the sorry the the, the right of that next stitch and then put your hook hook out out of the left of that stitch and then yarn over pull through then yarn over pull through three cap and you will just repeat that around uh placing one half double crochet around each uh, front post of the stitches so again you're going in from the right hand side and then up the left hand side of the stitch if that makes any sense um so yeah you can repeat that around and your stitch count should remain the same as 72 stitches okay so you can go off and continue that placing one half double crochet in each stitch around sorry one one front post half double crochet stitch around then i'll meet back up with you when we are ready to move on to the next round okay so now i'm just coming up to the last stitch here and i just wanted to show you here so this is my last half double crochet that i need to do and then that's the chain one uh, sorry the chain two at the beginning so to do this last half double crochet you're going to go you're going to do the same thing basically go into the right of that post or the right of that stitch and then come out just left of that just next to the right hand side of the chain two and then yarn over and then just finish off your half double crochet as normal actually sorry my bad we need to actually color change to emerald green now so we're going to yarn over we're going to go we're going to insert into the right hand side of that stitch come out of the left yarn over pull through then you'll stop there you'll have three loops on the hook you'll stop there and then you'll get your emerald green yeah. then you'll get your emerald green 
and then you're gonna take your yarn wrap that over your hook and then you're gonna yarn over and pull through all three of those loops to do your half double crochet and then we are going to slip stitch to the beginning half double crochet stitch again so you're gonna slip stitch there and again you can work over your tail ends a little bit if you want to and then you're gonna chain two and now for for round 23 we are now going to increase into each stitch around and this is what's going to give us um that like wavy brim if i can put it that way okay so you can snip off your tail into your lamb green or your tiger lamb just leave a little bit of a tail for sewing okay and again we are going to place an increase into each stitch around um so we can create the waviness of the brim yeah, so you're just going to place two half double crochets into each stitch around until you get back to the beginning and your stitch count should have gone up so it would have doubled from from 72 stitches up to 144 stitches <laughs> hectic much eh? so yeah we're going to place two half double crochets into each stitch around and you should have a total stitch count of 144 stitches by the end of this round. And yeah, these increases is basically what's going to make our hat um, have that nice wavy brim or wavy look to the hat. Okay, so you can carry on with this and then I'll meet back up with you when we are ready uh, to move on to the next round. Yeah, see, it's really starting to curl. <laughs> okay, so now I've made it back around to the beginning after completing an increase into each stitch around. And you can kind of see it's starting to get a bit wavy, which is what we, what we want. So again, you just want to find your first stitch that you made here and slip stitch into there. If I can get in there, that would be great. Here we go. Okay, so once you get into there, you're going to chain up two. And then going on to this next round, you're going to place one half double crochet into the first stitch. Okay, you're going to place one half double crochet into the first stitch. And then into the next stitch, we're going to do an increase. And you will just repeat that around, placing one half double crochet into the next stitch and then an increase into the following and your stitch count should have gone up from from 144 stitches to 216 by the end of this round so yeah you'll just repeat this pattern um, all the way to the end just placing one half double crochet in the next stitch and then an increase now this round is going to make the hat really ruffle now. So yeah, you can continue this and then I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to end off the hat. And um, yeah, then we just need to embroider the spots on, weave in our tail ends and then we are finished with this hat. Yay! <laughs> yeah, then we're finished with this hat. So yeah, you can go off and continue this and then we'll meet back up with you when we are ready to end off okay okay so now i'm back and i finished crocheting the brim so now what i'm going to do is i am just going to slip stitch into my first stitch that i did why is my first stitch always so difficult to go into i don't understand that okay that's not quite in there but anyway so now I'm going to slip stitch to join and then you can snip your yarn, pull up and through and then you can just weave in your tail ends and if you've got any tail ends um, that you've worked over you can just snip them, um, you can just cut them out. So I'm just going to work in those ones a little bit more um, but yeah there are some that 
there are some tail ends that were as a result of some knots in my yarn that I need to go through and cut out. Where are those other ones? I'm sure there was another one somewhere here. Unless I worked over it. <laughs> um, I think I worked over it. Oh, I think that's the one little tail end of it. <laughs> Even though it's not much. Okay, so now what you want to do is you just want to weave in... Um, weave in your tail ends so what you want to do is grab your yarn grab your tail end I should say and I like to just weave my yarn back through that first stitch that I did there or slip stitch too I should say and then I'm just going to sew down through some of these stitches and then I am going to just insert my needle under some of these stitches over here like that okay if your needle doesn't show through the side then you're good to go and you can pull through and then I'm just gonna weave my tail in down to this side and I'm going to try and weave in my tail ends, my tail ends into some of these stitches over here. Okay, so it's good to kind of go like back and forth. Okay, I think that's okay. Yeah, maybe I should do one more. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to skip a stitch there and go back in the same direction I came. Yeah, like that and then you can essentially do that for each of those um you can do that for each of those tail ends but making sure to sew your tail ends into the corresponding color so like light green or the lime green here into the lime green that you crocheted with if that makes any sense <laughs> okay then you would crochet down into here I think I'm going to work my tail end up into these stitches here okay so you just want to weave your tail end through some of these stitches here okay again skip some stitches and kind of backtrack going the same direction you came in okay and then you can snip your yarn okay and then basically do that for all of your tail ends and then I'll come back and show you what to do from there okay so now I am back and I finished sewing in all of my tail ends and this is what the hat should be looking like now um, I think it's coming out really, really cute. Okay, so now the only thing left to do now is just grab some black yarn. So you want to get like quite like a decent length of black yarn here. Because you're going to be sewing seeds all over the hat. So you want a decent length of yarn. And then you just want to grab your tail end. Okay, you just want to grab your tail end. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to start sewing um sewing the seeds on so i think i want to start somewhat here at the top here so i think i want to start somewhere at the top i think i want to zoom out here just a wee bit there you go okay so we're still zoomed in a little bit but not too much okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to make um some uh what's it called some French knots all around the hat so we're going to leave a little bit of a tail and then what we do is we're going to wrap our yarn around our needle three or four times and then we're just going to insert our needle back into the hat but maybe like into the next stitch and then pull on our yarn And there we go then we have like a little seed formed and then you could just do that throughout the hat okay go some going to another stitch there 
you can spread these out however much you want so or very little as you want if it makes any sense and then okay and then you'll just repeat this around the whole hat And there we go. So you could have them very scattered or very close together. It all depends on you and the kind of look you're after. Yeah, you just want to make it as random as possible. Okay, so now I am back and I've finished embroidering all of the seeds or the spots onto the hat um, using the French knot. So this is what my work looks like on the inside. I just tied my ends together with knots. Um, if you wanted to, you could have done a bit better neat job than what I did. Um, you could have maybe threaded your yarn under some of the stitches to hide the yarn a little bit more. But once you're wearing the hat, you're not going to really notice anything um, or feel anything for that matter. So it's going to be hidden inside the hat anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's just how I did it. Um, but yeah, so that is how the hat looks. I think it turned out absolutely amazing. Um, I think it looks really, really cute actually. Um, yeah. Okay guys, so that is it for today's tutorial on how to crochet this cute little watermelon hat. Um, I really hope you enjoyed learning how to crochet these cute little hats. Um, I think it came out absolutely amazing actually. It came out so super cute. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like it as much as I do. And I really hope you guys have managed to follow along and um, learn how to crochet this cute little watermelon hat. I think it looks so super cute actually. Um, I actually really really like it <laughs> um but yes that is it for today's tutorial please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share it really does help on my channel and if you're new here subscribe you're not going to miss anything um there is some really cool content that's coming to my youtube channel as well um soon after my spinning wheel episode i'll be doing a mini claw machine series um so basically i'll let the claw machine depict what crochet Thing I'll be making basically. I um, haven't quite figured out the ins and outs of it yet but basically I'll, I'll have little mini skeins of yarn like that big. I'll write a prompt on there saying crochet an animal, sea animal, an insect, whatever the case may be and then I'll roll a dice and then the, the dice will depict like how, how many legs, antennas, wings, face, nose, eyes, all that stuff that will kind of depict um, what what the insect or the item will have and then yeah we'll end up with some crazy looking weird looking thing <laughs> which I think will be so funny and so cute um, but yeah so stay tuned for that and check out my spinning wheel game series I'll put the playlist here in the corner and yeah don't forget to check out my, my tutorials guys my videos if you're new here and yeah, please again like, comment, subscribe and share. It really does help out my channel. And um, yeah, you guys must stay tuned because some exciting stuff is happening. I'm so excited, guys. Um, I have been working on a website for about two years. And lately I have really been pushing to make it live. Um, so I'm just sorting on my pay fast at the moment. The method in which you pay. Um, but yeah, so soon guys my website will be available for you guys to purchase my patterns currently i only have three patterns on there at the moment but starting from um this month i am going to start trying to publish at least two patterns in a month trying to because if, if you aren't subscribed already um some of you may know some of you may not um i'm currently studying studying the degree in fashion design so there's a lot of assignments going on so that's why i say i'm going to try and push to get um two patterns out in a month i'll see how it goes i don't know but yeah so that's 
that's what my plans are so stick around guys the patterns that will be available is my mini bee keychain my mountain keychain and my minecraft bee keychain um so yeah that is it guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and uh, yeah that's it guys thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting bye guys